Greetings, folks, and welcome back to the Shell Toucher channel. I am, well, kind of excited today because I'm going to try to do a, a shorter episode. I, I know, I don't know if that's exciting for you or not. It most likely is exciting for you because I tend to go on and on and on. But I, I like to think that I'm dropping a lot of knowledge. See, I'm already doing it. I'm starting to, to ramble and rave. Today, though, we're going to be covering all the secrets to unleashing the true power when it comes to illumination by your phone. That's right, you can travel without a flashlight, it's possible. And I'm gonna show you the tips, tricks, and hacks in regards to that when it comes to using your phone and even your watch in today's episode. So stay tuned. Hit it! Okay, we're back. Well, folks, before I jump into the cell phone part or the iPhone part, I use an iPhone. I'm an iPhone. I'm an Apple guy. I always have. I always probably will unless something, something happens. happens. It's iPhone for me. If you don't have an iPhone, this may work on a Android as well. It does. But you're going to have to do a little bit of research. And there are some other tips that you may be able to find online that will work in relation to your type of phone. However, for the iPhoneers out there, Apple people out there, this one is especially for you. So first and foremost, let's look at the Apple Ultra. Now I'm not gonna go and do a huge full-on review of this watch. Uh, I don't need to, there's so many out there. And again, I wanna try to keep this video short. But one thing it does have is a light. Check this out. Boom. Oh. It's the brightest of all the Apple watches too. And it's also the largest screen. It's 49 millimeters, I believe. Great watch. Lots of awesome features, especially when it comes to tracking yourself. Anything. Uh, or maybe you like to listen to music or a podcast while you're hiking anywhere. Uh, need not be on the Camino, but anywhere. And you may not use headphones. And if that's the case, I keep mine in the sling bag. That's what I do. But I wait for no one to be on the trail around or near me. If I do see I'm coming up upon someone or someone's coming my direction... Rather than f fiddle with my phone and try to turn it off and whatnot, I can control it from my watch. It takes two seconds. I can pause it, walk past the person, wait for the person to walk past me, and then continue. Uh, all with a push of a button. So, it, this watch is handy in that regard as well. But, back to the light. So, there is a action button on the side, which you can program to do whatever you want. I have it programmed to be used as a flashlight, however. So... One click turns that on, the white light, but this is where it gets cool. If you swipe to the left, you get a blinking mode. Great for emergencies, maybe signaling a chopper, I don't know. But check this out. Red light. Rather than purchase a separate red flashlight, it's right here. That's the push of a button. Turn this on, and as you're packing up, it's right there. Super easy. Got to go to the bathroom in the night, boom, turn on the red setting, boom. The only problem with it is packing up in the morning. It's just, it's on your wrist, so it's tough to direct the light. So it's a little wonky, but it'll work. It'll work in a pinch, and it's one less thing to carry. Then just one push of the button, and it's off, and it's back to the watch face. So consider the Apple Ultra if you're an Apple person. Uh, great smartwatch. You can track so much. You can track health, track your heartbeat, everything. It does it all. And it's great for training, too. So keep the Apple Ultra in mind. Now... To the iPhone. Well, there is a flashlight setting that we all know of on the iPhone and on the Android as well. It's a regular white light. And we all know by this point in my series on flashlights that white light is probably a big no-no when it comes to the Camino, at least in certain places, especially in albergues. Especially in the morning, early morning, and late at night, on route to the bathroom, you never want to use a white light. Just don't. You'll often see people in the groups pushing you to use your, your cell phone instead of picking up a flashlight. Why carry your extra weight to use your flashlight? That's all they say. They don't really get sp into specifics. I don't think they know of these specifics. I don't think they care. You get all types on the community. However, there are things you can do to be a friendly, considerate pilgrim. There is, and this isn't a well-known feature on the iPhone, there is a red filter. If you want to turn on the red filter on your phone, Go to settings and just search color filter. Once that takes you to the color filter screen, you just need to turn it on and you can change the intensity of it, but that's where you'll change it to red. And that'll turn, turn that'll put a red filter over all of your phone, which is 
good, it's okay. And it can be used in a pinch. Just by activating your phone, the screen will go on and it'll give you a mild red light that you can use to find the bathroom lid. But if that's not good enough for you and it may not serve you well, there's an app for that. Go to the app store now and search for night vision light. Now that's not gonna turn your flashlight red, but it will turn your home screen red. So again, just turning on your phone, clicking on that app, boom. Now you could kind of combine forces. You could use your red color filter to keep that on your phone before you go to bed. And that way when you turn on your phone in the early morning hours, it's not that bright light. The red filter's on. And then you can just go to the night light app and turn that on. And that'll give you a red home screen. And then there is those of you out there that want to use the flashlight. There's no real workaround when it comes to apps for that that I found anyways. But what you can do is get this. These plastic filters, you can actually cut them to fit inside your cell phone case. You can affix it in such a way that it'll cover up the flashlight. So whenever you use the flashlight on your phone, it'll be red. If you're not really a hands-on Martha Stewart type pilgrim, they also make adhesive filter, red filter stickers that you can find. They look like this. You can find them on Amazon. I'll have links below for all these little hacks, but th that sticker, probably the easiest way to go. It's called a red light dot. You can stick that over your flashlight. And if you're never going to, which is great, if you're never going to use your white light flashlight, then you can always keep the sticker on. So keep that in mind as well. Lastly, this is something I came up with and it was pretty much based on what I saw with the watch, the red screen. I was like, huh, wouldn't that be great if they put that on iPhone too? Well, they didn't, but I will give you a link below in the description. So if you're watching this on your TV, Get to the description and click, click pick up your phone. <laughs> Stop fiddling with it. Stop fiddling with that red filter and click the link. And this will take you to my blog where I have a red screen image. And you would just right click, save that onto your phone and use that image as your home screen image while you're on the Camino. So when your phone's asleep, it's just the red screen. That way there's no fiddling around in the morning or at night trying to find the right app to turn on. You just open up your phone and it's already red. And that's great in the middle of the night. You can find the bathroom, you can do whatever you want, you can make new friends even. And here's an extra bonus tip because I found this, well, not only amusing and fun trivia, but it does work. I tried it on my second Camino. If you're wearing a sleeping mask, and I highly recommend you do wear a sleeping mask, when you're on your way to the bathroom, especially Ross's values comes to mind when when I'm thinking of this tip. On the way to the bathroom, keep your mask on, but fold up one side. So you're just using one eye to find the bathroom. Now this comes from pirates and their eye patches, you know? If you don't do any research on pirates, you just assume all of them had one eye or all of them lost an eye. But the reason why they really wore eye patches was they were going above and below deck all day long. So in order to see when they came up from below deck, they would lift up the eye patch. The eye patch was protecting that one eye from the shadow or from the sun. And so the same thing, does that make sense? From the shadow of the sun? From exposure to the shadow of the sun, overexposure to the light. You know what I'm talking about. When you're looking into a light, I was just about to look into a light, uh, then look away, you're blinded. And it takes a few moments, maybe minutes, for you to finally see again. And it's the same thing going to the bathroom at Ross's Bayes or any big albergue. Once you get there, the lights are so bright in the bathroom. When you walk out, you can't find your bunk. This is an especially good tip for a large albergue where all the bunks look the same. And I, this happened to me. I'd be sleeping. I was woken up all night by ghosts. It would just be people trying to find where they were, trying to find their bunk, and they just couldn't see. So in order to get around that, fold up one of your one side of your sleeping mask, go to the bathroom. Then when you get out of the bathroom, take off the mask, and you'll be able to see with at least one eye clearly and if you're smart, you will mark your bunk with like a, leave a sock next to it in the, in the aisle. Or if you want to go above and beyond, maybe find a pillowcase that you can bring with you that has a glow in the dark element on it. Some type of glow in the dark feature. My Peregrino flashlight has a red light that you can keep on. You could hang that or put it in your pillowcase to kind of diffuse the light. But just so there's a red light on the pillow when you're walking <laughs> by, you can recognize that as your bunk. But do keep that in mind. Or maybe put your hiking stick there. Mark it so that you will be able to find it. And try my 
pirate Arr. trick if you'd like as well. And let me know how that works out for you in the comments below. Wow, that went by really fast today. If you'd like this video, then like it. That's right. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you have something to say, maybe you disagree, maybe with your own tips, tricks, and hacks, leave them in the comments below. Maybe you just want to say hi. I encourage highs. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Stay high. Whatever. Be hi. No, that's wrong message. Comment below. Also, please subscribe. It really helps the channel grow, and we're trying to grow. We're trying to get the word out. I, we. I keep saying we. It's the royal we, I'm sure, but I'm talking about me. I'm just trying to get the word out there, and, um, well, I just want to kind of build this community of pilgrims where we all are kind to each other. Uh, we all take what we've learned on the Camino, and we give and take and give and take. More giving and taking, hopefully, but we share what we know, and we learn what we need to no, I don't know where I'm going with that, but I think you understand. Good vibes is what I'm trying to create here, and I want more of a community element rather than just me blabbing away all the time. Because who the hell am I? Anyways, folks, so like, comment, subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. And until next time. Eh? Eh? Which way? I'm going to go this way this time. That felt weird. When do we know?